we will now see how we can do subplots using matplotlib now with the subplot function multiple plots can be drawn in one figure the subplot function takes three arguments that describes the layout of the figure the layout is organized in rows and columns which are represented by the first and the second argument the third argument represents it, the index of the current plot now let's see how you can use matplotlib for doing the subplots so let's just make first plot uh, plot one so here let's make the data as np dot array let's make the y data as np dot array plt dot subplot one comma two comma one grab of line let me give you the comment grab of line means that the figure has one row figure has one row and two columns that is the uh, it has one row this is one row and this is saying that's two so it means two columns and the last argument one is the position of the current plot like where do you want to put the current plot two columns and the one at the last argument refers that this plot let's make it means means that this plot is the first plot this plot is the first plot so then just do plt dot plot x comma y now let's do the second plot okay let's do the second plot plot 2 here let's take the uh, data as uh, let's take this one and change it let's copy it from here let's take the data as let's make it 10 20 30 40. Now here we have to again do the subplot plt dot subplot and we will do 1 comma 2 comma this time it will be 2 because so let me write it here the last 2 means that it is its position means that its position okay so the last two means where the position will be located like it was in the first position it is in the second position okay now it's the same we just need to do the plt dot plot x comma y and then plt dot show let's see how it works This is how the plot is made.